Now work energy theorem. See, we already studied about the equation of motion with constant acceleration. So we have three equations out of which one is v square minus u square equal to 2 a s where v that is the final velocity u that is initial velocity a that is acceleration and s that is the displacement now multiply both the side by half m so we will get here half m v square minus half m u square that is equal to on right hand side half m into 2 a s so we can write half m v square minus half m u square on right hand side 2 2 cancelled so m a s but mass into acceleration that is force s per newton's the second law of motion so we can write half m v square minus half m u square that is force into displacement now see here as per definition half of the product of mass and square of velocity of the object that is called its kinetic energy so this particular term half m v square in that v that is the final velocity so we can write half m v square that is final kinetic energy and we can denote it by k f f that we have to place in suffix similarly half m u square in that u that is the initial velocity so we can say this half m u square that is the initial kinetic energy that is k i so we can rewrite this particular equation as final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy that is force into displacement but force into displacement that is the work done so final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy that is work done but this final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy that we can say is the change in kinetic energy is the change in kinetic energy so change in kinetic energy that is equal to work done and this result that is called work energy theorem clear to all of you